up you guys, this is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on the Daily Grind, we're going to be chatting about something that I don't think I've ever chatted with you guys about before, but is an integral part to the game. So today, we're going to be talking about keybinds that don't completely destroy your hands. So all of this was actually inspired from the fact that I have somebody that actually came from console onto PC, and uh, one of their big gripes was the keybinds. And I basically told him straight out of the gate, I was like, yeah, those keybinds are trash. I would never use the default keybinds. It's like, I don't know how people do it. Your hands would hurt big time. And he was like, oh my God, everybody has been telling me that they just use the defaults. And my mind was absolutely blown because some of the things that I've seen is like, you have to use the shift key and like, I don't know, like your hands are turned into a claw or something. And first and foremost, I've been using like, or I used to use ergonomic keyboards for a major part of my life and there was no way that my hands would do some of the things that the game was asking me to do innately. So I figured I would go ahead and toss together this little guide so that you could see what key bindings I have and maybe save yourself some wrist and hand issues, maybe find yourself something that's a little bit more comfortable to play with so your parkour skills improve, just something a little bit more fluid. So I hope this helps. All right, so jumping into the actual keybinds themselves, I'm gonna do a quick scroll down for you so that you guys can kind of see what I've got going. And you're probably gonna wonder exactly what the fuck is going on, Rob. And um, I had to change a lot of things and there are certain things that are not bound at all, like my gear keys. I swore to somebody that I would do it ages ago and I still haven't done it, but I figured we should start from the top. Now, it says number pad four. However, my number pad four is actually bound to this key on my mouse. And this is one of the things that I absolutely love. I, you don't need to have like a crazy, insane mouse, but a lot of mouses these days at least come with one key on the actual um, on the actual trigger itself. So that's my trigger. And basically, I just use that to jump. So I just press on my mouse button and I'm jumping. Easy peasy. Uh, the move forward, left, back, right, that's all the standard WASDs. Um, there are some things that I wanna chat about when it comes to Arcwing, but we'll talk about that like towards the end because I know y'all don't want to hear me talk about arc wig at the beginning um, now clearly reload is R because R duh stands for reload very simply but Q is actually a very interesting thing that I want to uh, chat about is Q is hold to crouch you'll also notice that my sprint roll is space um, my sprint is tab, but that's for Arcwing, and we'll talk about that later. Um, so the big things here is hold to crouch is now Q, and sprint roll is space. So I want to actually go ahead and show you how this all kind of translates. Now, I I can't remember the defaults, but I think it's like W, which is this, this finger right here. And then sprint is like shift, and you got to do like this to like run and sprint or some shit like that. I don't even know how that occurs, but if we look at it, so moving forward is W, right? So I'm using this, this finger right here. Now I'm gonna use the thumb for sprinting. So as you can see, now I'm just holding down W and the thumb. So I'm just using these two, two, two fingers right here. But now if I wanna slide, I use these three fingers, right? So instead of like weirdly like conjoining my hands in odd ways, it's W, Q, and spacebar. It's just these three right here. And you, you're not doing some weird stretch, your hand actually falls really, really naturally on the keyboard. So it's W, space, and Q. And then if I wanna jump, there's no additional stress to my hand to have to like, to, to have to like try to shift my entire hand to fit a four key press, right? It's just forward, spacebar, and crouch, and then, you can use your the thumb key of your mouse to jump. And then that way, it's a little bit less stress on one hand. You actually get to spread the workout between two hands. So again, W, spacebar, and Q. And I find that to be much, much, much more comfortable um, than having to than having to try to do four key presses with a single with a single hand at once to like accomplish some sort of weird parkour thing. Another interesting thing, and I'm gonna make note of it here, is when I when I play a little intensely, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, I'll be like, I'll be shooting my gun like this, I'll be shooting, and then occasionally you'll see me, you'll see me shooting, and then you'll see me jump. And that's because I'm gripping my mouse so tightly that my thumb is actually hitting the jump key. So that's definitely something uh, that you should be aware of. 
All right, so now that we're done with moving keys, let's go ahead and talk about some combat keys. Now, as you guys can see here, I don't have my switch gun bound, but I do have um, my switch weapon and equip melee bound. So mouse wheel down is my switch weapon, and then my equip melee is mouse wheel up. And this actually helps me out a ton, and I'll show you here right now, because it's a really easy mental exercise. Basically, if I want my melee weapon, you scroll up. If I want guns, I scroll down. If I want my pistol, just keep scrolling down until I get to my pistol, right? And I'm dual wielding, so that's why you're seeing that. It is, I do have my pistol um, put in there. So again, if I want melee, if I just want melee, I just scroll up. If I want my Sabaris, I scroll down twice because, you know, I was in my, uh, I was in my pistol. So that's all you really have to remember with this kind of key setup is down is melee, up, or down is guns, up is melee. Very, very simple in that, um, in that case. Another thing that I also want to note too is um, my melee channel key is bound to my uh, left left click and I've also got it bound to be toggle off toggle on so that way I can toggle it on real quick get some life back with something like um, life strike and then turn it off real quick so it's just a dook on dook off really really fast you're not wasting too much energy trying to get so much from life uh, life strike back very very simple um, and that's kind of like how I like it for combat now the last key that I really wanted to chat about is the use key now of course this is to revive your teammates this is to open up lockers all of that kind of stuff it is default to X it is default to X like literally that is the bottom row of your keys how is that like literally you either have to like shift your hand completely or take your hand off and hit X. I don't know how people do it, so I've actually moved it on to my F key, which for those of you guys who don't know, the switch gun, I believe, was the F key originally. So I've actually unbound that and bound it to the use key because literally, so here is your melee, here is your reload, and then here is your use. So it's all like in the same small area instead of having to like use X, like, like, I don't even know how where my hand would go to use X. So, um, definitely try out the F key as your use key. I feel like that would help out a big, big lot, big time. It, uh, it helps. That's how we're gonna leave that. And before we move to Arcwing, there is one thing that I actually forgot in the combat, like, arena thing, is that my secondary fire is actually bound to my middle mouse key, which would be my mouse wheel. So, here's your primary fire, here's your secondary fire, and here is, you know, zooming in. So basically, it's like your hand isn't moving very far at all to get your primary and secondary across. You're not having to use your keyboard. Basically, all of your shooting stuff is on the same, is like in the same area. So as you can see, I'm like rotating between the two and I'm literally going boop, 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 boop. So that way it's all simple and easy and will save you a lot of like mental gymnastics because sometimes you're like trying to figure out where your keys are and you're like running and jumping and all that kind of shit and you just don't have enough space for an alternate key fire on your actual keyboard. So at least this way you have it on your mouse click wheel. I know that not everybody maybe has like a super cool gaming mouse or anything like that. Not that this is super cool or anything, but you know, I know that a lot of mouse wheels have that click function. So see if you can bind that, um, bind your secondary onto your mouse wheel. All right, so closing this out, let's tackle arc wing real quick. Now, as you can see, both my move up and my sprint roll are bound to space. I, off of the top of my head, cannot remember um, which one it is, but one of these two actually cause you to supercharge your um, sprints in space. You'll also notice that my standard sprint is on my tab key. And, you know, of course, I'm using WASD. And lastly, the last one that I want to kind of pick up is my roll key. Where is my roll key? Um, maybe it's somewhere here. It's roll left and roll right is actually bound to my middle mouse button Now you just heard me say that in standard controls my middle mouse button is secondary fire However in Arcwing we don't have secondary fire yet So you can still use that as one of your roll keys and that's comes in handy. So let me show you how that all kind of plays out um, Basically, it's not too far off from how standard movement in Arcwing already works or standard movement in standard Warframe already works. So W, of course, is your move forward key, right? So you're just moving forward with W. Now, in order to sprint, you use tab. So, you use this finger, 
and this finger, because Q was right here before, right? Q was right here. Now you're using it just a little bit further. So you're spreading, you're spreading your pinky out just a little bit further in order to get that tab key. Now, using W and tab, you can hit space for your super boost. So you're moving forward with your W, you hit tab, and then space with your super boost. So literally, this is what your hand looks like. It's really not insanely far off, you know what I mean? You're not stretching your hand in any weird shape or form. It's all right there for you. And then the last thing that I want to point out is um, your roll key. So let's see if you're a little disoriented. You can actually attach your roll key, and then you can hold it down just a little bit to try to get yourself back centered um, to right side up. So that's your middle mouse key, and you just have to remember that it's no longer your alternate fire, but instead it's your roll key. And it's that simple. So I hope that helped someone out there. Honestly, if you guys are using the default keybinds, I really, really encourage you to try these ones. They're less of a stress on your hands. Um, and if you guys have any of your own cool keybinds that you find fit really, really nicely into like your natural resting hand space, um, toss that in the comments below as well. I just kind of got a little bit concerned when I, I was told that a lot of people are using the defaults and I'm like, I don't know how you could do that to your hands. That's like carpal tunnel right there. So try these out. Hopefully, um, hopefully these will give you a little bit less stress on the old joints. Um, and as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body with your hands that are no longer tired because you was like doing some weird claw shit when playing Warframe. Anyway, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.